how to manage your money if you are a nail professional. This is a request that's come in and I think it's a really important, solid topic. Greg and I are gonna talk about this right now on The Biz Talk. My voice from screaming at my brother for hours this week, screaming at him. It's because I had him pinned to the ground. <laughs> so stupid. Greg was just talking about how he's been exercising and he's getting ripped and he wants to be called Sly, Sly Solo. Solo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't think people even know may not even know who Sylvester Stallone is, bro. I don't know, man. He's a dude, he's an American icon, bro. He is. He is, dude. Rocky. Rocky uh, Balboa. Nice. All right. So managing money is this is a topic that Greg and I can really speak to because early on in our business ventures, Young Nails, this was not easy. We had to really learn. We struggled with managing money back in the day, did we not? I mean, I didn't even know what money was. Bro. <laughs> First of all, we had issues seeing money even uh, come through the door. Is that not correct? Like I mean, we weren't even, dude. Dude, was, we had two payments left on the Ford Ranger and they were about to repo it. <laughs> <laughs> dude, not only that, I remember that we refied uh, mom's Cadillac or was it? No, no. I think it was your Ford Ranger. Mom refied the car, bro, from uh, some company in Chicago uh, to get cash. And yeah, they wanted to repo it. Uh, um, they awful. wanted to foreclose on our house. Like managing money was not our like expertise it's, at the time. It's hard when you're in debt. Yeah, it really is. It is. It is when you're deep, deep, deep into debt. Correct. It's a very so. Let Let's talk about that for one second. Like. From our experience, like managing money, th this is a huge topic. So I think the first thing is like, how do you manage money if you are in debt? How do you just manage money if you're not in debt, you're just starting out? Like, what are some good tactics? Let's, we'll kind of run through both of this, but I think this could be very helpful for people um, in both situations. So I remember like we were so deep in debt, bro. It was like creditors calling nonstop, the phone ringing off the hook, dad picking up the phone, just pissed off, dude. Dude, like, he yanked the phone line <laughs> out of the wall because he didn't want the phone to ring anymore. It rang so much, bro. He just ripped it <laughs> out of was, the wall. I don't blame the man. Oh, like, man. God I, bless him. I know. It was, it was actually like, thank you, dad, for yeah. doing that. It was, it was rough. It was rough. And like... I think there's two things to look at in that situation. Um, I remember thinking, okay, number one, it, it, it was kind of breaking it down very simple. Like, we have to bring in more money. Correct. Right? Like, so we have to increase our business. Correct. If, if you're in debt, if you're in debt, okay, so that we can use some of that new revenue to number one, pay off some of the debt, and then number two, um, paying our, our bills so that we could survive. And Greg, myself, and my mom had to go through this process of like, it was it was super disciplined. I mean, I came in and that was my thing. I was like, I let me, I wanna sort of be in charge of the money because I know I could be disciplined oh, with yeah. the money, right? And I remember Greg's thing was, it was, I would come to Greg and be like, bro, we need sales. We need more money. So Greg was on the hustle for years doing classes, classes, bro, constantly to bring I, in more money. I was driving all over Southern California teaching at all the schools. That's right. To yeah. bring in dough so that we could pay down our debt yep. and get, get a hold of our finances. Get a hold of our finances. It look. If you're in debt, but you were also working as a school teacher at the same time. I was. I was a school teacher. I was actually at that time. I had stopped teaching. I was tutoring. Oh, yeah. So I had to bring in. Um, that was just for my own income because the business couldn't afford to pay us. Correct. You know. So I had to find. I didn't want to use the money um, to. You know, for me, I wanted to like. Okay, let me try to make some of my own money. So, a lot of hours. 
working extra jobs. We're living at home. Li we living at home. Uh, I mean, it was, minimize it was, expenses. It was a hard bullet to bite, but man, to we didn't sorry. have a choice. We had no choice. We had no choice. Yeah. And um, in in insane amount of discipline towards towards this goal of paying down our debt to get to zero. Correct. So we had to completely flip the switch on how we manage money. Insane discipline, bringing in new business, um, living at home, cut down expenses. A lot of these things, a lot of you already know what to do, but I'm telling you, this is what it is. It's, it's reality. Like wow. you've got to do the basic, simple, fundamental things that you probably already know. There's no magic pill, correct? There, there's not. I mean, you have to figure out a way to reduce debt. Yes. Um, you have to save money, and I mean, sometimes yep. you have to sacrifice things that you love. In yeah, order like to do stuff that. that you can't do, right, bro? I mean, we weren't going out and like, hey, bro, <laughs> let's go buy this and let's. Do we weren't doing that. Nothing. I didn't, I didn't do anything. <laughs> we. <laughs> did nothing and then we'd come home and see each other uh, at home you know my dad would come home and he was ripping the phone out of the wall <laughs> you know <laughs> which was just totally insane uh, but he was a savage dude he was <laughs> man total sav um so i think on like if you're in debt and you're trying to figure out a way to manage your money those are the things that you've got to do now let's talk about someone that is starting out and you're looking to like how am i going to manage money let's say you're not in debt you're building your clientele and you're trying to figure out a way to wrap your brain around how to deal with the money you know what i mean i think this approach is not so far different in that you need one thing that is vital which is discipline oh, yeah. in how you treat your money Correct. I mean, don't eat out. I mean, it's so easy to eat out. You think about oh my how, God, much, bro. how much you spend at Starbucks. <laughs> oh my God, bro. Dude, in coffees, dude. It's uh, The amount of money you can spend on coffees, the amount of money that you can spend right. on so many things. Dude, I remember one time, speaking of coffee, sorry, a little sidebar, but this is just an example. I remember um, this was a, uh, somebody in our family and she came to me, this was year, probably 15, 16 years ago, bro. She came to me and she was like, hey, I'm, I'm, I don't know what's going on with my money. I can't figure it out. And I said, cool, let's take a look at your bank statement. Let's get visibility on what you're spending. Dude, it was literally $700 a month in Starbucks coffees. $700 a month, bro. Had no idea. So like, you've got to know where you're spending your money. And then you've got to get control of that and you've got to have discipline. Correct. I mean, eating out, drinking. Oh my God. I Drinks mean, are expensive. So expensive. You know, I mean, look, I, th these are the things that you, you, you have to look at all of, you have to take a daily tab on how much money you spend. Yeah. I mean, you really do. Yep. In order for you to say, okay, I need to cut back on this. I have to sacrifice this until I could obviously generate enough revenue to right. get those things back. But, you know, what, what I always, this is something that Greg and I always do, okay? Whenever we talk about launching a product or anything in business, the first exercise that Greg and I do is, what is break even? Like, where do we need to be, bro, on, right. on money so that we're, we're breaking even? And that requires us to take a look at all the costs. So for you in the salon, this is a basic exercise that you have to do, right? What are your expenses for the month? What is your booth rent? What are you spending on product? What is going out the door? Electricity, whatever that is, at home, food that you need to survive. And I'm not talking about, there should be no like going out money right now. You need to take that out of the budget. So you create this budget of your expenses that is real and the absolute minimum to survive, right? To have, I'm not saying like, you know, you don't want to live like- uh, Top ramen style. Yeah, bro. You don't want to go in that direction, but- Sometimes you, you, sometimes you have sometimes to. Sometimes you do. No, no, no. I mean, we, we've been there. We've been there. If you don't have an option, you do what you got to oh, do. Yeah. But you need to look at that. And then, then you have to go, how much do I have to make 
so that I can pay all that down and have money for X. You know what I'm saying? And then you have to execute against that plan. I think the biggest thing, bro, is- You just said it right there. Plan. Plan. Yep. I mean, you need a plan. You can't just- you can't just like think about it and say, oh, well, you know, I, I think I spent this much and you kind of bring it in this much. Dude. I mean, how many, dude, for years, right? We, we, we did that. We did that. Uh, it was rough. Dude, I remember, like, you remember when it'd be like, hey, how much, how much did we sell today? And we wouldn't even know. And know. it was like, shit, we'd go through papers and like, this was like back in the day, obviously, we weren't using computers as much. We weren't. But, Trade Dude. shows. We didn't have a computer. We'd write everything. We'd handwrite everything. everything. All the receipts were handwritten. Credit cards. Like how much? How much did we sell? Oh uh, well, we we did this much because that's what you know the cash says we did. We had no idea. I mean, we had no idea if product was stolen from the booth. We had nothing. no idea of anything, bro. And but uh, but that's the thing is like we've been there. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And there's a lot of nail pros that are in that situation oh, right yeah. now. And what we're basically saying, what Greg and I are saying is like, look, we were there, but we changed. We made these changes so that we can understand our business. It's the only way to grow. It's the only way that you can grow. Correct. And it's the only way that you can be sane. You know what I mean? And I think it takes more, like a lot of people want to focus on growing more clients okay right. that's important that's important on the flip side though you've got to be able to control what you're spending if you want to manage money properly if you want to manage money properly you've got to control what you spend which means that discipline of what greg was talking about which is don't go to starbucks don't go out to restaurants don't buy drinks. Don't buy the new X, Y, and Z that you see come out. Have the discipline uh, to say no. You know what I mean? Dude, you know how good that feels to like manage that? I mean, even today, like we really try to focus all of the money that we're earning on how we're going to build the business by investing in infrastructure and em good employees that have the knowledge we need to, Correct. to, to grow it because we have a vision of where we want to be able to grow the business. We can't do this on our own. We, we need a team 100%. of really smart people as well as a really strong infrastructure in order to scale it. Right. And, yep. and, and that takes, it takes money. It takes money. It takes discipline, <laughs> discipline, right? Like yeah. we've got to manage. Cause think about this, bro. Like even though we're growing right now, it, we, we could be like, yeah, dude, let, let's cash out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> dude, let's buy 16 statues, bro, of us and put them all over the company so people can walk around and see us everywhere. Like stupid stuff, bro, <laughs> that we can buy. You know what I mean? Like, oh my gosh, dude, dude, people do, like I've seen uh, companies invest in like, the most insane things. It takes discipline for us to like, okay, company's growing, we're bringing in money, let's reinvest it in the company so that you, our customer, have a better experience, have better products, new products, new content, like investing in our marketing, Correct. in our marketing team, but always thinking about the business. Uh, you know, some of you out there are probably saying, well, you know, I'm really good at doing nails, I'm a great artist, but I'm really bad at, you know, managing my finance, don't, you know, you, you, you're not going to be able to accomplish this overnight. Totally. It, 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 it's going to take time and try to knock. My suggestion is do it slowly. Try to knock off a little bit at a time. Um, and you have to make it in order to make it habit. You have to do it repetitively and you have to do it. You know, there's that saying you have to do it for at least 21 days in yeah. order to make it habit. Totally. It is really the truth. You have to do it. You have to do it daily. You have to do it, and, and not all of it, just a little bit at a time until it becomes habit where you're like, you know, I'm comfortable. Or And, and don't be afraid to ask for help as well. I mean, you know, I, I, I love what you're saying, bro. There's a lot of nail professionals that are probably saying, I can't do this. Correct. Like, it's not me. But let, 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 me, let me say this. Give you an example, okay? <laughs> My wife, okay? I'm going to use this example because it's an amazing example. Uh, I would say probably f 
three to four years ago, like zero handle on her own like expenses. Okay. Like I'm talking zero all <laughs> bro. I know she's going to kill me when she <laughs> sees this, but this is the truth. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, dude. I know, but, but it's a great example of, of somebody that has just completely turned something around, transform, transform today. She, I would argue she is better than me on understanding her own dude it is crazy bro she maps out now all her expenses every single month she knows exactly what she's spending and she has started saving her own money and like build it's bro i it's don't beautiful. even do that it's incredible she has completely transformed into a financial freaking ninja and she is so good at and it, it wasn't overnight what no, you it, said. It, it took her time. Four years. It took her time, bro. You guys can do the same. You can. Like, like I see what she's done, and I'm like, wow. Like, people can. If you if you want to do this, you can do this. And um, she's like, arguably, like an expert now at managing money. Like, she really understands it. Like, at a level way deeper than I do. So you can do it. You can manage your money. A lot of it is discipline and just flipping that switch oh, yeah. and going to town. Um, let us know how you manage your money right now. I'd love to know in the comments below, what are some tips and tricks you can offer to other people that are looking for, for ways to do this? Um, thank you, bro. Appreciate you being on. Thank you, man. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Absolutely for uh, joining us. And we'll see you next week on The Biz Talk. <laughs>